Okay, I want to try to find out whether my flywheel is bad. Uh, this trigger is an old one, used one, but it's um, it's ohms. It's okay. So what I first want to do is find out because I have connected the white wire with the uh, yellow marking with the brown one without the yellow marking. So I want to figure out which one of these um, things that uh, which one of the triggers actually relates to those wires so I can uh, troubleshoot them on the flywheel. So I have this small this small magnet here which um, I then will put in here see if I can get some voltage reading. Uh, on any of those. Hey, here it is. So now I know this this one relates to those wires. So now I'll put it on. I know I have my um, trigger points here. I find that out with my. Uh, you can use the magnet that you can use also. Uh, you can see the moves from top to bottom. You can um, use. The screwdriver you can find out how where it is because you can feel it um, okay I have something looks like a crack here I, I think it's only the surface crack but I want to find out so I know this is my um, my um, trigger which relates to the voltage so I want to see now when I turn when I turn it and this yellow one passes here I should get a reading over here see I got a reading. I'm going back. I got a reading. So now I have this crack thing. Actually, there's not really any reading. Now I, I pass the other point. See, I got a real good reading. Yeah. Oh, I just want to check all the way around. Yeah, sure. Trigger point again. Reading. Good reading. We test the crack point again. Not really any response worth noticing. A little bit, but I don't think it's worse than the other side here. Also has some minor things. But this one point here gives a good reading that was the minus plus okay then I want to change um, to to another wiring here and it says this white width then I have to have the Violet, the violet trigger here with the yellow compare uh, with the brown. No, with the white compared with the white. So, violet with yellow marking, white with no marking. Okay, again, here I want to first find out. Now I know it should not be this one. No, it doesn't respond really. Maybe here, this. No. So, this is my trigger for my current wiring setup. So I'll notice here, I'll put it down here. So I'll see, I got, I should get, when this one passes here, I should get a Good response again. Yes. One more time. Good. My assumed crack point. Yeah. Very. I'm feeling very close. No. A little bit, but not as much as this one. Really. The trigger point really gives a good signal. 
and on the other side where there's no cracks I have there but really you could also just occur by me moving it so actually interesting because if you have very if you really uh, can move a lot in here then you could get some funny things if it's really the worn if the, the, the groove this one lays in is very worn you could have some issues with the shaking I don't know maybe but trigger here yeah positive good crack point I don't think it has anything to any problem okay last one would be this one is that um, brown the brown was that the one I didn't brown with here with yellow marking and violet with no marking so brown brown the yellow well, I have to know. Okay, this should then be the last one. I know just for fun, take the other two. No. Good, and that's it. I really can't get it. So, again, now it's this one triggering. So, let's see. I should get reading when this passes over here. Yes. My crack point. Now this passed and give a very high reading. Now this one, I just oh, I'm turning the wrong way. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Okay. Crack point. I think if it's getting too close to that point, it will actually start having influence. Okay. Again, if I'm moving like this, I get some readings, but no doubt about it. Here, passing the yellow path, good reading. I don't think my firewood is damaged at all. It could be the trigger. This is.